I've got a trailer full of the brand new crop red beans here, part of the premium expansion for Farming Simulator 22. But where do I store them? How's it going, everybody? Driver 53 here. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at where you can store the brand new crops. That's going to be your carrots, your parsnips, and your red beets here on the brand new map, Zilonka, part of the premium expansion for Farming Simulator 22. We're also going to take a look and see if any of the other existing mod silos are going to work as well. To start things off, I've got a trailer full of red beets right here being pulled by my brand new tractor, my Fiat Agri. We're going to go ahead and pull up here and see if we can get anything to show up here on this silo that we've got here in the base farm that you start with. And no, I'm not getting anything at all. All right, let's go find a spot on the map that'll take these. I've made my way over to the east side of the map over by the railroad tracks to a little place called the Grain Pool East. You can see it right here on the map. Main farm is right here where you're starting at. If I zoom out all the way here, you can see that it's going to be over here on this side of the map, right in here, right in the middle. And if I come down here to my prices sheet, I can see that for red beets, this place doesn't actually accept them and give me any money. So let's see if we could actually store them here. All right, so I'm going to drive up and then we're going to get over top of this. Am I going to get a message? Yes, yes, start overloading. All right, perfect. There we go. It's going to go in here. All right, my money is not going up at all. All right, so we're going to put the whole trailer in here. Then let's jump back over to the price sheet. And yes, I've got 12,600 liters of red beets here in this facility. And it looks like I've got an auger right here. So let's go ahead and drive underneath of it, see if we can get some type of yes, yes, perfect. All right, so red beets, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and fill this back up. Now, another really cool thing about this, if you come around here to the backside, get it a little bit of a run, you can see that right here, you've got a spot to load and unload on your train as well. And here on the map, you can see that you do have another spot to rent the train there. You've got another one up here. And it doesn't slow down for you unless you actually call for it. And where exactly is it going, you might ask? Well, it's going to be going to Erlingrad right here. And here on our price sheet, you can see that is the very top listing. It actually pays pretty good. 383 right now coming down. This one's 333. So as of right now, I'd probably send it here. I've driven around to all the other spots on the map and nothing else allows me to store them. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some mod silos to see if we can actually store it there. And the first one I want to take a look at is root crop storage. I'm going to go ahead and pull up here and no, it does not work. This is only set up for regular beets and your potatoes. So only base game crops are what it's going to do. I know these new ones are base game, but they're also DLC. So they're a little bit extra and unique. Maybe this thing's going to get an update, but as of right now, it does not store them. Next, I've got two other ones up here, one by Omatana and one by Missy B. I'm going to go ahead and drive over top of this one right here by Omatana. And yes, yes, I can absolutely unload in here. Perfect. This is going to be great. All right, there we go. Next, the one by Missy B. Let's go ahead and drive through here and let's see if I can actually unload here. And yes, I can unload in this one as well. Now, the one thing about these two is that these accept bulk items. I mean, you could put pretty much anything into these silos. You could put wood chips, you could put salt, you could put fertilizer, lime, straw, grass, all those different things like that. It says it in the description that they are bulk, um, accept bulk items, okay? So there are a lot more silos in Mod Hub that are available for all platform. I didn't test every single one of them. I just wanted to test these because they are bulk. I know that these two take pretty much anything in the game. So if you're looking for some silos, make sure they say bulk items or bulk materials. Y'all, it's time for me to get back in the field and do some more testing here on this premium expansion for Farming Simulator 22. If you enjoyed the video or learned something today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my videos looking at the premium expansion here for Farming Simulator 22, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. You know, I heard that there is a new way that you're going to be able to plant these crops. I wonder how it works.